it's me again back with another video this time no long talking just um, I'm gonna do a makeup tutorial I'm gonna attempt to do a Valentine's Day look since it's coming up and all of us ladies want to look fly even though we're single and we don't have Valentine's it's okay because we'll look good for ourselves so basically I'm gonna start the tutorial and um, I hope you like it okay so let's start first we're going to start with the eyebrows and for my eyebrows I use the Rimmel London eyebrow pencil in dark brown what I do is I like to fill in the shape of my desire here I have a slight arch and I like my eyebrows very thick as you can see I like to make it thicker towards the end of the eyebrow and just use light brush strokes at the top closest to your nose just going to repeat the same thing on the other eyebrow okay so next up I'm going to reach for my MAC Pro Longwear in NC45 and I'm going to be using an elf brush it's a flat top brush and I'm going to use this to highlight underneath my eyebrows and define the shape and also cover up any stray hairs I haven't got my eyebrows done in probably about six months so um, using this technique is brilliant for covering up all those pesky little hairs that just don't want to look great <laughs> So doing the same on the other eyebrow. You can use any concealer, just make sure that it's about two shades lighter than your skin tone, just to make your eyebrows really, really pop. And then blend. I like to take it round the corner of the eyebrows too, not all the way round, just on the corners, just to really sharpen up the arch and give it a really nice finished off look. Okay, next is our MAC Select Cover Up and my shade is NC50 and I like to use this on all the dark areas of my face. So the dark circles under my eyes, any spots that have left dark marks, and around my mouth where I have some eczema scarring. So just going around the mouth, I like to dab it on all the areas and then rub it in. Well not rub, more pat, pat it in. someone's feeling themselves okay so next this is my real techniques buffing brush and I love this brush for applying foundation the foundation I'll be using is the Maybelline fit me and my shade is 355 so just a small pea sized pump on my palm as I like a very light coverage as foundation is something I don't wear every day so when I do I just like to keep it very light so you just want to dot that on your face and buff it in. I like to buff everywhere under the chin, forehead, make sure that everywhere is blended in nicely. Okay, so back with the select cover up, I forgot to do this earlier, but I do put a little bit on my eyelids, especially when I'm going to be wearing an eyeshadow as it works as a great base, keeping those eyeshadows intact all day, which you're going to need for this fab Valentine's Day look. So the brush I'm using is an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, very inexpensive, and the eyeshadow is just a matte beige from the Sleek Storm palette. So any matte beige colour you have will be fine and you just want to pat that onto the eyelid packing that color on 
not too thick but enough to be noticed this is a very easy 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 look I'd say look for beginners especially so this is a fluffy blend blending brush which I got from crown brushes and I'm just going to go into the matte brown in that same sleek storm palette and we're just going to insert this color into our crease and we want to make a V shape on the outside of our eyelids as you can see I'm doing here so you just want to blend that in this is just to create a bit more dimension to the eye and make it stand out a little bit but the main focus of this look is going to be the lips which we shall see shortly okay so back with our mac pro Longwear in nc45 and we're just going to use that to highlight our under eye area i like to do it in a triangular shape and then blend all the way up into my hairline just to give that really chiseled highlighted look as you can see I use my fingers a lot you can use a concealer brush if you wish or a sponge but for me my fingers do the trick the look starting to come together now Okay, so we're going for our MAC Minimalized Skin Finish and the colour I use is Deep Dark, the same blending brush and we just want to blend out any harsh lines that may have been created from our crease colour. We want this to be a very fluid, natural looking eyeshadow, so we want to do that. Next is our ELF Complete Concealer Kit, which I've had for ages but I've never had a use for it but I watched a great tutorial last night on YouTube by the House of Browning where she used a foundation to do her contour so here we are with our Real Techniques contour brush we're going to dip it into the darkest brown and we're going to insert that colour into the hollows of our cheeks blending it upwards into the hairline so you want to make that ever so beautiful duck face and blend that lovely contour brown in this gives off such a natural look like this is what I'm going to be doing from now on I love the results just a bit in the temples and under the chin so next we're going to go back to our MAC Pro Longwear any light concealer like I said as long as it's two shades lighter than your skin and we're going to draw a straight line down the bridge of our nose this is just to contour our nose area again giving it a more narrow and chiseled look and just a few tribal marks in the middle of our forehead again anywhere the lights gonna hit is where you want to be highlighting which is what we're doing so now for the same eyeshadow brush and that same matte brown eyeshadow I'm going to continue to contour my nose and outline with a darker colour where I did the highlight again giving the nose a more chiselled narrow look I do it with a very light hand because you don't want to make it obvious that you've got strange lines going down the middle of your nose so with a very very light hand you want to do that and blend it next up we're going to go for our blusher and the blusher i'm using is raisin by mac just a random blusher brush i think i got this one from my mum and you just want to blend that into the apples of your cheeks and again i pull it up into my hairline because i feel it helps to contour the cheeks as well so i go all the way up Okay, so just a liquid eyeliner in black. I'm using the Maybelline Line Stiletto, but any eyeliner would do, a pencil, a gel, liquid, anything at all. And we're just going to do a slight winged liner, nothing too thick, just a very thin winged line. And I'm bringing it all the way down into my tear duct and just a slight flick outwards. At your own discretion you could make it thinner or thicker either way 
this look is gonna look fab for V Day. Okay, so next we're going to go with our falsies, and I just got these off of eBay, they're very cheap, and um, any falsies would do. As you can see, like magic, they've been applied, obviously I did it off camera, because sometimes they can take ages to apply, especially with those cheapy ones that just don't like to cooperate sometimes. Um, a bit more blush, and then we're going on to the lips. I'm going to be using Burgundy Lip Liner by MAC. So you just want to meticulously outline your lips to make them look very, how can I describe it? Just, as I said, the lip is the main, the main focus of this look. So you want to outline your lips nicely. And I like to use a darker colour because as my lips are dark, it helps with blending in the lip colours and making them look their best. So we're using Ruby Woo by MAC. Gotta love it. But I'm going to be mixing it up and adding another lipstick. And I'm going to use So Child, also by MAC. And this really, really, really makes the lips pop. It makes a difference to any other red lip look. And I learned that from my friend Leona, who also has a YouTube channel. I'll link her page in the below bar. So just some mascara on the lower lashes. That white dot you can see is a bit glue. The eyelash decided to start falling off, so had to re-glue it. Fix the hair. Okay, so I'm just going to go with a bit more liquid liner just to help blend the lashes in a bit more and give the look a bit more of a natural feel. And also get rid of any glue or anything else that might be causing the lashes to not blend in. Mascara to blend my actual eyelashes with the falsies. And we're nearly there. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to go into my tear duct with a shimmery gold colour I also got from the Sleek Storm palette. But any shimmery gold will do. And this is just to give the eyes that little bit of pop and finish off the look. Right, this is the finished look. hope you liked it just something basic if you don't want to do too much because I'm not really a fan of the heavy smoky eye look but you know what I mean my hair has been so annoying I've got you part wig on by the way so yeah this is the finished look my earrings are from Primark my nail varnish is this it's Colour Club number 23 and I bought it in TK Maxx. So basically that's the finished look. I would put a bit of highlighter on my cheeks but I can't find my highlighter at the moment. But I would put a little bit of like just a little just to highlight the cheek area and a bit on my nose. And um, that's the finished look. Hope you liked it. Hope it's okay. I'll see you soon.